welcome to my garden for the start of this Palm Sunday worship. Hosanna to the son of David, the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Behold, your king comes to you, O Zion, meek and lowly, sitting upon an ass. Ride on in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your throne is the throne of God. It endures forever. And the scepter of your kingdom is a righteous scepter. You have loved righteousness and hated evil. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Dear friends in Christ, during Lent we have pre been preparing by works of love and self-sacrifice for the celebration of our Lord's death and resurrection. Today we come together in spirit, worshipping from the churches of our own homes. We begin this solemn celebration in union with the church throughout the world. Christ enters his own city to complete his work as our saviour, to suffer, to die, and to rise again. Let us worship him in faith and love, so that united with him in his sufferings, we may share his risen life. God, our Saviour, whose Son, Jesus Christ, entered Jerusalem as Messiah to suffer and to die. Let this palm be for all of us a sign of his victory over death. We hail him as our King and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit now and for evermore. Amen. We now hear the Palm Gospel. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Saint Matthew. they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go into the village ahead of you and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, the Lord needs them and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and they put their cloaks upon them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the, on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in tumult, asking, who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This past few weeks have been, for many of us, the most bizarre time that we've ever had to live through so far. 
None of us are immune to the tumult of emotions. We hear sad news about a loved one. We cry our eyes out. We call out to God in our pain. But then our spirits lift when we hear about another person's loved one, someone else's family somewhere else who has pulled through, who has won the fight against all the odds against coronavirus. And it's wonderful and we rejoice with them and we carry on praying for our own loved ones who are still sick. We might ask, where is God in all of this? On Palm Sunday, having heard the Palm Gospel reading outside in the beautiful sunshine with the birds singing, even through the windy weather and that less than perfect recording with the background noise, we get a sense of the joy and the celebration that marks Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And then as we take time alone to study God's word, we read once again the familiar words of the Passion Gospel for ourselves. We discover that God in Jesus Christ is right there in the thick of all of this. He has been in the darkest of places with us and for us and continues to do so. Palm Sunday services traditionally begin with that high point outside proclaiming to the whole world those joyful acclamations of Hosanna, welcoming Jesus as the King of our hearts. As the service progresses, we move from one low point to the next in the Passion narrative. Here we encounter Jesus' betrayal by his friends. Yet, who would we, would we do any better ourselves? We hear the denials, the grown men running away. Yet we know from this past few weeks what it can feel like to be genuinely frightened that death might come before that we're ready. The uncomfortable truth about our frailty and our failure to love as fully as we should can hit us on Palm Sunday right between the eyes. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Well, no, but yes, because people of all time are flawed and yet we're all fully loved by God. Palm Sunday and Holy Week's narrative resonates in 2020, perhaps more than ever before. What emerges is a profound realization that the pattern of this whole life death rhythm is precisely what it means to be in Christ and with Christ and living through Christ. This Palm Sunday we walk with the Lord with compassion, knowing he walks with us too, pouring out his love and his compassion for us even more so. This Palm Sunday we walk with the Lord with courage, knowing he walks with us with supreme courage even though it is so costly for him. Courage is what we are seeing in abundance across this land as thousands of NHS workers, doctors, nurses serve on the front line of this fight against coronavirus. Like dedicated health and social care workers, Jesus' faithfulness to his own vocation and mission showed us that love is always costly. In the words of the hymn, he died that we might be forgiven. He died to make us good, that we might go at last to heaven, saved by his precious blood. For ourselves, we have a daily choice in how we live, in a way honouring what Jesus has done for us through the cross. We are to die daily to ourselves, for the sake of others. This is how we can come to stand at the foot of the cross on Good Friday with authenticity. This is also how we will come once again to new life at Easter because we are God's Easter people. Whatever the weeks ahead hold, 
hang on to the fact that we are not to be cowed, we are not to live in fear, we are not even to be afraid of death because Christ has conquered death and we are Easter people. In the name of God, the Creator, the Redeemer and the Sustainer. Amen. So now let us pray. Father God, we pray for forgiveness for the many times that we have each denied Jesus, for the times when we have done wrong. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Christian people, that through the suffering of separation, there may grow a rich union with Christ. For those who make and enforce our laws, for judges and the police, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For people who suffer in poverty, and all who are sick, especially those who are suffering from the coronavirus. For those in the darkness of sadness and despair. For those who feel alone, may they know that God is near. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray that we, with those who have died in faith, may find mercy in the presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Most merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now may we hear God's words of blessing. Christ crucified, draw you to himself, to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope, and the assurance of sins forgiven, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.